Good morning, everyone. Hello, good morning, everybody. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Okay. It's English, right? We have English. Yeah, and today we were supposed to do. What were we supposed to do? Oh, I remember. We were supposed to do question answers. Okay. Hi, Umar. Umar, what's the thing? Is that the sea lion? Oh, no, penguin? It's a penguin. Oh, <laughs> looks like little Rusman. I'm like, what did Uber do to Usman? <laughs> oh, God. Okay. <clears throat> Hello, Aisha. It's good to see you. All right. We have students joining in. And... While you guys join in, let me show you something. Ma'am, yep. you may yesterday talked about going to the doctor. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to the doctor today. <laughs> because I almost broke my legs. Oh my God. Oh, God bless you. First God. of all, don't forget to wish the doctor. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Do you have answers to this thing no, that has yeah. Which homework I submitted it. it, it Ma'am, uh -huh. even I submitted it. I'll show you. Uh -huh. yeah, no, no. Kindly write the meanings of the words from the cl word cloud on page sixty. 86 in your notes. Not digs, ma'am. Yeah. Not dig. I was not, I did not attend. Um, this I time. did this. In my mother's phone, I sent it, it from my mother. So I have four submissions. Out of how many are we? We are exactly. like 12, I guess. Yeah. Yes, 12, right? We are 10, 12. Maybe. Mama, okay. I wasn't there in that class. Doesn't matter. So. I you you know the rule, right? You know the rule. Yes, yes. I have I have Saihan, Hafsa, Hamza, and Umar Ansari. Oh, uh, sorry, Umar Shari. Which one assignment? Very good. So I know this is the word cloud. Okay, the meaning of sailing solo solo. Laura Decker's uh, comprehension passage that we did on Tuesday. Okay. Now that your memories are fresh again. Let's do what we always do. Uh, okay. Can you go to the breakout room? Sure what yeah. it was and which so, page number? Because I see, wasn't, it's I wasn't page, there. Yes. So we started with a new comprehension called Sailing okay. Solo. It was about a girl, Laura Decker, who traveled, who circumnavigated the entire uh, world 
okay when she was just 13 years of age right now uh, you had to write the meaning of the words given in the word cloud okay so i have put i'm putting you in the breakout room quickly complete your assignment on which page number uh 686 86 page number 86 yeah okay. quickly complete your assignment upload it on google classroom and then you come back yeah everybody okay uh ma'am yes ma'am i will do the assignment but uh, my brother is using the a uh, tab uh, for the online class so i cannot upload it now yeah do the assignment sir go ahead you can come okay. and show it to me you can show me the notebook hold it up and i'll see so that i know that you've done the assignment yes okay please join the breakout room until then others my fantastic four who were responsible enough to complete the homework yes please open up your notebook we'll start with the comprehension yeah and this time you get the privilege to read out all your answers in the class okay so you are going to just read your answers and others will listen oh my hamza is missing okay aisha and shan please join the breakout room you all know why you all are here right you all know why you all are here right in how much time should i uh, close the breakout room give me a time come on i guess there are just okay i'll give you 8 minutes i'll give you 8 minutes 8 not more What? than yes yes so i have hamza saihan umar and hafsa you four have done the homework okay <clears throat> hamza has not joined in yet no problem uh, open your notebooks you know the excess, the meanings where you all have written leave a line and continue from that okay so you don't have to take a new page leave a line and continue from there Chan, did you submit the assignment? Please join the breakout room. I think I have assigned the breakout room. Huh? Ma'am. Yes. Can I say something? Yeah, please go ahead. I can't hear you, Shan. I'm sorry. Can you put it in the chat, Shan? Whatever you wish to speak, uh, please put it in the chat. Hello. My screen is stuck. My screen is stuck. Please. put it in the chat whatever you wish to speak you but oh you can hear me <laughs> oh god i'm so sorry i just read out my entire list okay hi hamza i am extremely proud of you and you are a part of the fantastic four tell him why he is a part of fantastic four these are the fantastic fours of mendeleev Mama did my homework. Yay! <laughs> Absolutely. Oh my god, the weight makes me happy when I get your assignments. Too good. Okay. Mom, Done? I opened the PDF on hmm. Google Classroom but then yeah. it's not loading. I could not get the page. So Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a minute. I shall help And... you with that. Yeah. I have read everything. Hmm. Okay. I, I, I shall. Yeah. 
Aisha, can I share my screen and you quickly copy down the words? Yeah. From your yes, quickly copy down the words and my fantastic four who've done their assignments. Please leave a line after the meanings and write exercise A. Okay, we start with the comprehension immediately. And when others join in, you get to read your answers and tell them the answers. Okay. Aisha, I would also appreciate if you can share the, uh, these words in the chat in breakout room. Yes. Okay. Done. Done. All right. Okay. Exercise A, everybody. You have to write answers to these questions. The first is very easy. What age was Laura when she first sailed Six. solo? Six. Very good. How will you frame the answer? Laura was six when she first sailed solo. Very good. Laura was six years old when, comma, when she first sailed solo. Ma'am, first one is done. Okay, perfect. Let's move on to the second one. Describe what happened to Laura near the Cape of Good Hope. So you will start your answer with near the Cape of Good Hope, comma, and then give me the answer. You want to go to the text, the passage? Yeah? Okay. Yes, ma'am. All right. What will be the answer? Anybody? Yes. Hamza, Umar, Saihan. What I happened saw. to Laura yeah. when she was uh, near the Cape of Good Hope? What happened to her? They um, got a sail using storm got jammed. Okay, very good. So she was caught in a storm and her storm jib was jammed. Okay. All right. So this is the answer. So you will write, how will you begin your answer? You'll begin your answer with near the Cape of Good Hope, comma, and then how will you frame it? Anybody, how will you frame it if you're starting your answer with near the Cape of Good Hope? 
Storm Jib got jammed. The cape of good hope, a storm came. And Laura was caught between a storm where her storm jib had got jammed or got jammed. Okay. And you have to describe it a little, right? So you will also mention this part. That her, her storm jib, uh, jib got jammed. And she could take it down only during the early hours of the morning. And she could take it down only during the early hours of morning. So we are beginning our answer with near the good hope. Good hope was So we are writing the answers near the Cape of Good Hope. Laura was caught in a storm where her storm jib had got jammed. She managed to take it down only during the early hours in the morning. Right? Now my work is done. Okay. So uh, you can leave a line and write exercise A. A1. What age was Laura when she first sailed solo? Can somebody read out answers yes. for her? We have to write the question also. No, no, no. Laura was six years old when she first sailed solo. Yes. And now we are on the second question. Describe what happened to Laura near the Cape of Good Hope. And the answer is uh, on the right hand side, my right hand side, actually. I guess it's your right hand side too. Near yeah. the Cape of Good Hope, Laura was caught in a storm where her storm jib had got jam jammed. She managed to take it down only during the early hours in the morning. All right. So from the fantastic for who's completed question of answer two. All right, Saihan has completed. Let's go to the third one, Saihan. What dangers did Laura face apart from the sea? So apart from the storm that had come to the sea, what are the other dangers that she faced? Okay, give me a minute, I'll be back. Oh, Sean is up. Okay, no, I'm not going anywhere. Go ahead. I'll take you to the passage. Yeah. For those who are writing this answer, here it is.
This is answer number two. All right, Sayhan, tell me, what other dangers did she face apart from the sea? Waves and extreme weather. Extreme weather. Very good. Okay. Okay. Extreme weather. Pirates and cargo ships. Cargo ships. Very good. Yes. Pirates. She completely. was worried about the pirates too. Okay. The constant danger of having to encounter a pirate. What else? She had to rescue the flying fish, right? Yes. That kept on flunging themselves into her cabin. Okay, so she had to constantly keep her cabin clean because the flying fish kept on getting in her she had to do cabin. My homework. Okay, that will not, that may not be a problem or a danger that she's facing. Okay, <laughs> that is not as dangerous as you guys think it is, right? All right, um, so we have four. Ma'am, why yeah. would she do that? She could have just let the uh, cat, uh, the flying fish come and die and then she could have cut them and eat them. No, but she could eat only a handful of flying fishes, right? When the flying fishes are constantly occupying your entire cabin, where will she stay if she doesn't clean them? Okay. Ma'am, the rest we can throw and some we can also save. Yeah, so that, that is what she exactly did. She had... but. It was so constant, the flying fishes kept on coming so often that she had to keep on cleaning it, you know? So, that is what. All right. Uh, four things. We found out four things, okay? The constant danger that she faced, apart from being at the sea, was first one, what was it? Extreme weather, right? Yes. Second was Collision with the cargoes, okay? Uh, worrying about the pirates and constantly rescuing the flying fish. And ma'am, uh, the damp bed also. She had to sleep on a damp bed. Oh, yes, 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 yes. She slept on a damp bed. Okay. That is fifth one. All right. Let's go ahead. How will we frame the answer? Ma'am, what is the damp, damp bed? wet bed bed that is that has water on it it's not dry it's damp okay mm. so laura faced dangers such as extreme weather comma collision with cargo ships comma Laura faced dangers such as you want me to write it down? It's easy answer. You guys gave me the answer. I'm not writing it down. Do you want me to write down the pointers? Okay, I'll just write down uh, the main point. Extreme weather. Yeah. Collision with cargo ships. Dangers. No. Encounter with pirates. And, and, sorry. Ooh. Having to clean 
the flying fish of her cabin. Okay. Sara, Umar, and Sari, have you completed your assignment? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Please keep your video on. Yes, Umar. I was going to eat my breakfast, so I, I cannot understand what you mean. Sorry? Okay. Umar, I had given you an assignment to write meanings from the word cloud for sailing solo. Okay. You have to complete that assignment and submit it. Then only I'll let you enter my class. Ma'am, I submitted my work. Ma'am. Ma Just a minute. Yes. The A1 that you said, uh, we need to come. No. Write I for this one what you are writing. Sorry. One minute, Sarah. Just give me a minute. These are the points. These are the points for A3. Okay. Extreme weather, collision with cargo, uh, cargo ships, encounter with pirates and hammer. First, uh, yes. So answer for first and second. Either Umar Sharif, Hafsa, Saihan, or Hamza will read it out in the class. Okay. Now, Umar Ansari, have you done your homework that I gave you for sailing solo, writing down the meanings from the word cloud? I did not, I, I did not understand it. There's nothing to understand in that. These are the words given on page number 86. Yes. Okay. These are the words in the word cloud. You have to write these words and find the meaning of these words. So the word along with the meaning, you have to write it in your notebook and submit it on Google Classroom. Okay. Did you understand now? Okay. All right. Can you do it and submit it right now, please? Ma'am, I'm done with the third question as well. Okay. Done. Uh, can you read your answer, Hafsa, please, for the third question? Yes, ma'am. Laura had to face four dangers. Uh, oh, little Maryam is excited. Okay. Please read, Hafsa. Face four dangers, extreme weather, pollution with cargo ships, encounter with pirates, and having to clean the flying fish of her cabin. You are going to think of all yes, comma, uh, yes, ma am, ma am. having to clean the, the flying fish uh, from her cabin apart from the sea. Okay. All right. Now, um, just a minute. Give me a minute. Mama, yes, Yes, I have a little bit of doubt. Mm -hmm. Sure. To complete in notebook or in textbook? Notebook, notebook, Umar. Okay, I want you to take a new page, write today's date, write the topic sailing solo. Meanings, write down the words and find the meanings. Click a picture, upload it on the Google Classroom and then you join back. Because right now we are solving the comprehension. Yes? Okay? All right. Third uh, question. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Um, hmm. All right. Wait, 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 wait. So I have Sara, Juveria, Shan, Zara, and Hamdan back. Have you all completed? Because I have only two submissions on the Google Classroom. That is Juveria and Sara. I'm a yeah. Can I see your work for the meeting? Okay. All right. Leave a line, Hamdan. Start with comprehension exercise A. Yes. Thank you, Uban. Yes, Umar put the first answer to the first question on the chat so that students who joined us late. Something? Yes, Shan, please. For um, everyone. Charges not there. That's why I can't get Google Classroom. Sorry? Now it's done. Now my phone has fully charged. Okay. We will do it today, okay? Yes. 
i can give you that permission okay all right so umar has given the answer to the first one in the chat everybody those who haven't uh, those who were late completing the meanings you can write down the answer laura was 6 years old when she first sailed solo okay saihan type the answer to the second one please hafsa you you type the answer to the third one and put it in chat okay hamza let's solve question number 4 Before I do that, Zara and Saad, can you show me the word meaning that you have completed in the breakout room? Zara and Saad, Zara Kazi and Saad Wahid. <coughs> Sara, are you writing down? Yes, yeah, I have done the first one. Okay, waiting for the I'm second answer. The second. All right, Sayhan, quickly send the second. Hafsa, send the third. the second oh you did oh my god okay have you finished writing yes. are you deleted Man, it oh my god everyone. okay i'm so sorry yes yes everyone please send it to everyone okay hamza ready for the fourth question it's very what are the pointers for question number 3 okay what are the pointers um extreme weather collision with the cargo ship uh, encounter with pirates and having to clean the flying fish of her cabin okay hamza question number 4 a4 write a summary sentence for each of the three Nobody paragraphs send anything after one in the time ma'am ma'am okay they are typing we'll give them time to type we'll Because, give them time to type uh, no answers came we will give them time to type okay all right hamza let's go ahead with the fourth question write a summary sentence for each of the three paragraphs giving the key fact very easy you know what you have to do right you have to go to every paragraph and give the main idea in one line that's exactly what we have to do correct okay so let's yeah. go ahead Oh, we have something in the chat. This is the third one. Okay. The answer that Hafsa has given in the chat, everybody, is answer for A three. Okay. The third one. Yes, that is the answer for A three. The answer that Umar has given in the chat is A one. Sayhan is typing A two. So you can. you can write the answers right after the other but only thing is you have to in the margin you have to name it correctly right a3 so that you know that this answer is for question number a3 okay there it is saihan has given the answer for a2 as well thank you so much hafsa umar and saihan hamza let's get the summary answer right okay let us go to the passage Ma'am, it is collision or pol uh, pollution. Collision. Yes. Collision. Okay. Neither or, of them. It's col. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I had to mute somebody and I muted somebody else. All right. Okay. Hamza, let's get started. Come yes, on. Yes, ma'am. So what I can see is apart from three uh, paragraph, I think there are. we can we can make it four okay so what is the yes, main ma point or the main line or the key line that we can write for paragraph 1 where they are talking about laura decker and how she was the youngest sailor to circumnavigate the globe a summary of her um of her um, yeah which around the globe Laura Decca was the youngest of uh, first solo sailor. Uh, she, yeah, we can write. I think this slide is only uh, this paragraph is only describing her. Yeah. Okay. So it is giving a gist of what who Laura Decca is and what she has done, right? Okay. So do you think we sh we can go ahead with the same line given in the uh, given in the paragraph, the first two line? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Uh, up till single handedly 
So we can write Laura Decker, the youngest sailor to circumnavigate the yes, globe single-handedly. Yes. Yes, Hamza, do I have? Ma'am, did she do it all with one hand? Single-handedly means alone. All on her own. Wow. With no help. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Not with one hand. She used both her hands. Whatsoever, except for the water. She became Moana. Yes, yes. She's a modern day Moana. Okay. All right. After this line, Hamza, let's go to the second paragraph. Yes, ma'am. How will you summarize the second paragraph in one line? So the second paragraph is talking about how Laura was obsessed yeah. with sailing since with a sailing. very young age. Okay. She was obsessed. She was fascinated with sailing since a very young age. So we can write it down that way. And maybe we can write she was sick when she, she arrived two days after my birthday. Oh, <laughs> Yes. Yes, 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 she did. Okay. All right. Yes, Hafsa, you were saying something. Go ahead. Maybe for the second paragraph, we can write she was six when she first sailed solo. Mm, uh, that, that exactly means when we say that she was, um, she was fascinated with sailing at a very young age. Okay. That almost means the same. At what age she did what? It all, like, you know, it summarizes this entire second paragraph in that one point. Don't you think? Do you have any other difference of opinion? Please go ahead and share. The second paragraph is about uh, Laura's uh, dream. Very good. And, uh, okay. Yeah. And when she said so. Hmm. Perfect. Okay. So can we say, can we put it this way? Laura was always fascinated with sailing from a very young age and it was her dream to sail around the world. Do you think this sentence will summarize what is there in the second paragraph? Yes? Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Uh, ma'am? Yep. Tell me. Uh, if uh, if there is like uh, we are writing the first sentence of the first summary. Yeah. Then you put a full stop so and you continue. No, no. So you like write Laura Decker, okay. the youngest sailor to circumnavigate the globe single-handedly. Full stop. Laura was always fascinated with sailing from a very young age, and it was her dream to sail around the world. Full stop. Okay. You continue. You write write it in the form of a paragraph. Yes. You don't have to leave lines or next paragraph, next line. No, 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 nothing. Yes, like. We continue as one whole answer. Yeah. All right. Ma'am, ma'am. Hmm. Ma'am, this is the answer for fourth question. No? A4. Yes. Yes, Sarah. Okay. Yes. A4. We are writing the summary of the passage, the comprehension. Okay. Now, let us come to the next paragraph, dangers and discomforts. Oh. Ma'am, Hmm. Laura. What do we have to write in the second I didn't get it. Okay. So what you have to do is you have to start with Laura Decker, the youngest sailor to circumnavigate the globe single-handedly. Full stop. Laura was always fascinated with sailing from a very young age and it was her dream to sail around the world. Full stop. You continue writing each sentence one after the other, like a paragraph. Okay? 
and instead of writing laura decker the youngest sailor can you please write laura decker was the youngest sailor to circumnavigate the globe yeah just just put a was after decker yeah that will make much more sense yeah. Um, what is the second answer? The second sentence is right over here. Can you see on the screen in the gray part? No, ma'am. No. Uh, oh, this yeah. the red color. This, this, this red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see it now. Okay, okay. Ma'am, this red color one. Uh, then you underline the. This much is oh. only the answer. No, 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 no. You start with what I have underlined. Okay. Laura Decker was the youngest sailor to circumnavigate the globe single handedly, full stop. Yes. After full stop, you write down, don't leave any line or anything. Just after full stop, immediately the next sentence will be Laura was always fascinated with sailing from a very young age, and it was her dream to sail around the world, full stop. Ma'am, done. Perfect. Hamza, let's come to the third paragraph. Sum it up. What will be the main point or what is the main idea? Ma'am, this paragraph is like talking about uh, what she was uh, afraid of and what happened to her in the sea. Very good. The dangers that she faced. Okay, so we can say that it was not a very smooth journey. She had her own challenges while at sea. Okay, and she had to like she had her challenges and she made a lot lot of sacrifices when it came to her sleeping or eating habits. Right. Okay, so that is based and in spite of all that she never did forget to do her homework. Okay, so we can summarize this paragraph in that main point where I, where we can say that this journey was not how will you put it hamza this journey uh, this journey was not smooth for laura was not smooth was... very good it had its it had its own challenges very good yes uh and laura had to make a lot of sacrifices also multiple also, multiple and sacrifices yes one minute and ma'am the with... okay, which are writing in the right is uh, is the answer hmm. yes fine multiple also came with multiple sacrifices. When it came to her sleeping and eating routine. Hmm. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Ma I have submitted my... Uh, ma'am. Okay. Good, Omar. Uh, yes. Ma'am, after I've written Laura Dekka was the youngest sailor this line, then after I write uh, Laura was always fascinated. Yes, 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 yes. Put then a full stop. That, yeah, yes. Continue, continue. All these lines that I'm, all these sentences that I'm writing here and there on the screen, it is one complete paragraph for you all. Okay? All right. This journey for Laura was not smooth. It had its own challenges and also came with multiple sacrifices which involved her eating and what did you say? Sleeping. Comes up. Sleeping habits. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, Umar. After the underline, we have to write the Laura was always passing. Yes, yes, that's right. And then the journey for yes, yes, correct. These are all sentences. Okay, these are the main pointers from each paragraph. We are bringing them together, making it a uh, from each yes from each paragraph. We are bringing them together and making it a summary. All right, and that's how summaries are to be written. Okay, uh, Hamza, very good. Hamza, how do we conclude this? How do we conclude the summary by saying that in spite of whatever she went through, she did not forget to do her. Okay. Okay. 
I don't know why would anybody do that. <laughs> because education is important. Okay, in spite Man, of. Well, I did you know how it works? How... All no, that she went to. Google Classroom. She had <laughs> no, a Google no. Classroom in her mind. There no, no. <laughs> no, no, there was internet then, but it was not Google Classroom. She had already taken assignments from her professors and teachers and mentors and she carried her work over there. Okay. In spite of all that, she, all that she... Ma'am. Hmm. Are you going to come in today's offline class? Uh, no, it won't be possible for me to make it today as well. Okay, in spite of all it's that... Just, she, today is only public speaking and life skills. Wow! Yeah, they're gonna have fun. <laughs> in spite of all that, she went. I'm on Monday. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Come again. Um, Aisha. Uh, on, yeah. Mondays, on Mondays, there is English and science. So, will you be there for English? Um, honestly speaking, it's very difficult for me to make it to the evening uh, offline classes, right? Therefore, I'm taking all my classes during the morning time. So, English, let's see. Maybe you'll have some activity around it. I really have no idea <laughs> what it is. I'm so sorry. Okay. In spite of all that, she went through. Comma, Laura did not forget to do her homework. All right. This is how we end. This should be the last sentence of your summary. And we stop. And yeah. Okay. All right, so for students who've completed entire exercise A in the class, very good. For students who haven't completed, I'm going to post the answers in Google Classroom as well. Okay. Ma'am, I don't uh, have to I'm on the last one. Because I have to write in the yes, break. Ma'am, yes. I'm on the last This journey for Laura was not smooth and I'm going mm. to finish. Okay, okay, cool. If you've taken your screenshots, good. If not, I'm still going to post answers for entire exercise A. Okay, I have saved the and chat. I have two. I have saved this picture as well. So you should have your notes for exercise A by today, hopefully. And exercise B. Sorry, can I just... Okay. Exercise B is... A homework for you, you just have to write two things, okay? You have to write, if you were writing about yeah. Laura Decker's wife, where would you get the information from? Okay, so that's an easy answer. You would get your information. You could say it could be internet, it could be browsers, it could be books, okay? Multiple things. And you have to write a different title for the article and suggest different subheadings. Now, let me take you to the article very quickly. Do you see this? Sailing solo is the title of the article. Okay. You have to write a different article. Something that is not sailing and solo. Okay. And you, these, she was born to sail, dangers and discomforts. All these are subheadings. You have to write different subheadings. You have to change it to a subheading that is of your own, but it should match the paragraph. All right. Do you think you'll be able to pull it off? Meditative? Yeah? Okay, cool. So okay, exercise... Well, you assignment in yes, the absolutely. Absolutely. Yes? Exercise B becomes your homework, right? And I'm also going to post uh, answers for exercise A. Any questions before I leave you? Have you have to work with a partner? No. <laughs> Do it on your own. Mama, that's cheating. If you want, Mama. okay. You can contact your friends to discuss. Not a problem. Okay, no problem. We have to wait for them. <laughs> can I contact my... Uh, can I contact my 30-year... 